If you think two-factor authentication makes you safe, you're wrong. Most people see 2FA as an unhackable wall, something that guarantees security once it's turned on. But what if I told you that wall is actually made of glass? It looks solid, it feels reassuring, but once you understand how it works, you realize it can shatter instantly. And the scariest part? You won't see it break. For example, look at this window. The URL looks correct, the SSL lock is green, the design is flawless, and you can even drag it around the screen. It looks exactly like a real Google login page. but. It isn't. This is a phantom session. A complete illusion built with nothing more than HTML, CSS and a small amount of JavaScript. There are no exploits, no malware, no warnings. Just trust, weaponize against you. And before we go any further, let me be clear about one thing. There is a way to detect this instantly. I'll show you how later. But first, you need to understand why this attack works so well. This isn't about breaking encryption. This is about breaking the human brain. At first glance, everything looks fine. The login window behaves like a real one, the address bar looks authentic and animations feel right. But what you're actually interacting with is not browser window at all. It's just a div, a perfectly styled container sitting on top of a malicious website. It uses simple CSS properties and the attacker can place this fake window anywhere on the page. And here is where your brain gets tricked. The URL bar you see is not an input field. It's a static text. A styled element designed to mimic Chrome's UI pixel by pixel. Your eyes recognize the pattern instantly and your brain fills in the rest. And you don't analyze it. You just trust it. When you drag the window, a basic JavaScript event listener updates its position in real time. To you, it maybe feels like a real window, but to the computer, it's just a floating box. Once you believe it's real, the game is already over. Because this attack isn't trying to steal your password. And that's what most people get wrong. Attackers don't care about passwords anymore, they care about session tokens. Here's how this actually works. When you type your username and password into this fake window, the data doesn't just disappear. Behind the scenes, it's forwarded to the real Google login page using a reverse proxy. This means the attacker is acting as a man in the middle, silently relaying information between you and the legitimate service in real time. You enter your 2FA code, the script forwards it instantly and the real site verifies it. But then something critical happens. The server issues a session cookie. The cookie is a real price. Before it ever reaches your browser, the attacker intercepts it and once they have that token, they don't need anything else. They don't need your password, phone, authenticator app or something else. They simply clone your session on their own machine. While your phone sits motionless on the desk, your account is already compromised. Your inbox, your cloud storage, your admin panels, they're all accessible now. And the worst part is that no alert is triggered and no new login email is sent. Guess why? Because this was perfectly valid login and if you're still thinking, Wait, 2FA codes expire in 30 seconds, how could anyone use them fast enough? The answer is automation. As soon as your 2FA token is captured, it's injected into the real login page by a headless browser, using a tool like Playwright. This happens in milliseconds. By the time your fake login window finishes its loading animation, the handshake with the real server is already complete. But what about device tracking? What about IP addresses, locations and fingerprints? Listen, this is where the attack becomes truly dangerous. A professional browser in the browser kit doesn't just steal credentials, it clones your digital identity. The script captures your user agent, screen resolution, time zone and other fingerprinting data. The attacker then routes the session through a residential proxy, so when the stolen session token is replayed, it matches your exact browser profile and geographic location. And to the security system you never left. And there is no new device or unusual activity. The platform sees the same browser, the same environment, the same behavioral signals. The risk engine has nothing to flag. You are logged in on one machine and the attacker is logged in on another, at the exact same time. And from the system's perspective, both sessions are legit. So how do you defend against something like this? Here is the critical weakness in this illusion. This fake window is still part of the website's code. That means it cannot exist outside the browser's boundaries. A real browser window can be dragged anywhere, even to a second monitor. A fake one cannot. So if you ever suspect a login prompt might be fake, 
Try this simple test. Grab the window and drag it beyond the edge of the browser tab. If it gets cut off, if it disappears, or if it refuses to leave the page, trust me, you're looking at the browser in the browser attack. It's a physical test for a digital illusion. But there's another layer of defense too. And this one actually stops the attack completely. Hardware-based authentication. Fido 2 security keys don't just generate codes. They perform a cryptographic handshake that is bound to the origin domain. That means even if a fake window looks identical to Google, the hardware key knows it's communicating with the wrong domain and it refuses to sign the login and no amount of visual trickery can bypass that. It removes human error from the equation entirely. This is why SMS and authenticator apps are no longer enough. They protect against password leaks, but not real-time session hijacking. Security today isn't about stronger locks. It's about understanding where trust is being exploited. This entire project is a demonstration of how easily our assumptions can be weaponized against us. I've documented the mechanics behind it and shared the code for educational purposes only, so people can understand what's actually happening under the hood. Because awareness is the real defense. If you still believe a six-digit code makes you invincible, this is your wake-up call. Stay skeptical, stay curious, and most importantly, stay aware. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.